Y ahora tenemos la... En Fitur, now we have the pleasure and the honor to have Ingrid de la Fuente, the senior manager of energy and environment. Welcome. So, let's see how we finished 2022, which we finished with an important challenge for the company to open up our first 100% efficient hotel and sustainable hotel, uh, the Grand uh, Melia Hotel in Villa Le Blanc. Tell, uh, tell us, Ingrid, how was this challenge? It's a project that we are very proud of. It's the prototype of sustainable hotel, as you were saying, and we want this to be the standard of the next hotels. To begin with, we have biomass for the hot water, photovoltaic energy for electric energy generation. We also hired uh, renewable electric energy, and we have control systems, LED technology, uh, efficient technologies. All this makes us have the best energy qualification. We have uh, the A uh, energy qualification, and since uh, it, it, Menorca is a uh, biosphere reservation, and considering the importance of water, we also used measures like uh, the gathering of rainfall for watering our gardens or the reuse of black waters for the cleaning of terraces and uh, bathrooms and toilets. We have also digitalized the water footprint to have a better follow-up. Wow, that sounds like uh, amazing. But this was a hotel we already had in in. Menorca. How have you increased the emissions? As you were saying, up to what point have we managed to decrease emissions? Well, we calculated about 87% of our uh, one and two scopes of the carbon footprint. We want it to be a, a carbon neutral hotel and we will compensate with uh, environmental projects. And globally, do we have any goals to decrease our carbon footprint? How will we do this? Well, Melia's goals are aligned with the public commitments of the United Nations. In 2015, the famous uh, Paris Agreement in COP21, the uh, United Nations members agreed that there had to be attempts so that the temperature on the planet didn't increase more than two degrees centigrade by 2104 years later. 2017 or 18, COP24, uh, it was seen that the consequences were catastrophic and with those two degrees. And so they agreed 1.5 degrees. So I'm saying this because our commitments are aligned with this degree and a half. And with our efforts by 2000, uh, uh, 2100, we will achieve an increase of no more than 1.5 degrees. For 2025, we have to decrease 29.4%. Uh, and then we have a long-term goal by 2035, which is decreasing 71.4%. And how will we do this? Now we are with many photovoltaic facilities. We are implementing it in many hotels. We are doing a follow-up of consumption, also efficient facilities, like technology, and as uh, the Villa Le Blanc, Melia. We are uh, turning around, refreshing our hotels, implementing technologies. Then we have an energy efficiency project, which is the Cooperate project with over 90 hotels that have it. It's very innovative with artificial intelligence, very much focusing on the consumption of uh, air conditioning in the summer. The greatest consumption we have is uh, the air conditioning. Depending on the um, outer temperatures and the rooms, we adjust the um, AA system to optimize and to have a more efficient air conditioning systems. And in this project, we monitor 80% of electric consumption in order to 
see room for improvement and to implement uh, energy efficient measures. Me siento orgulloso de todo. Very important, and I'm very proud of all the measures that we are taking as a company so that we can contribute to cut down those carbon uh, emissions. You also spoke of innovation and all those measures, but anything related to water that we are also working with? Can you tell us a little bit? Yes, this uh, project we had not announced yet, so uh, this is news. In 2022, we presented a project related to the uh, water uh, cycle management. It was addressed at public-private initiatives. We created a consortium that I'll tell you about a little more, and to support and incentivize research in this field. And in our case, in the field of sustainability and our water footprint. So with the technology, with the modernizing of uh, the buildings and with artificial intelligence, we are going to implement measures and digitalize our water footprint to detect opportunities in operations and initiatives that could be with investment to optimize our water footprint. This pilot project will last for three years and it will be implemented in Tenerife, in Don Pepe, in Marbella, <coughs> and Palma Marina in Mallorca. And as I said, it's an initiative for which we created a consortium where the promoter, the developer has been Melia, and we allied with Etawa, which is a technological center in the PEC, who will implement the technology, and Akbar, which will take care of uh, Aquatech, which is Aquapark, which will be in charge of the commercializing and the study of the strategy, because uh, the idea is to implement this in the rest of the hotels. Yes, if it's a model that contributes, we always see it's very much related with technology to reach that uh, decrease in the, car in the carbon footprint. We also need that technology that will help us analyze and find the way to go about it. And finally, another commitment of the company this year is to bet on circularity. What actions have we been carrying out in this sense? Our CEO yesterday already mentioned the importance of the circularity strategy for us to do the right management of our waste and cooperate and help optimize our carbon footprint. In, there are different scopes for those of you who um, don't know this, and we are at scope three. We're implementing uh, to measure constantly our waste. Our devices to measure these uh, are quite innovative, developed by a company in Mallorca. We uh, put uh, the products in containers with which we can with constant measurement, and we can see room for improvement. On the other hand, we are also working on a circle economy initiative like we did in Palma de Mallorca, separating organic waste that we go and take to Timic, who which is the waste manager. And with that, we do compost, which we in turn give to farmers. With that, they grow fruits and vegetables, and our hotels buy those fruits and vegetables. And that's how we close the loop. And then we are also betting on the measuring of our food services to and food waste to decrease it as much as we can and decrease uh, waste through uh, procurement and betting on more sustainable materials. Thank you so much, Ingrid, for this master class you've given us of energy efficiency and sustainability. It's amazing, all the initiatives that we are doing in Melia Hotels International. Thank you so much for continuing developing these initiatives and for the rest, I'd like to invite you to follow us in hashtag Melia Live Fitur.
See you there. Bye.